guys, my name is Britt Nicole and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be the mid-year book freakout tag. There's going to be a few questions that I'm going to go over and answer them for you. I'm not the original maker of this tag. If I can find that original tag, I will link it down in the description below. And before we get started, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. And let's get started today. The best book you read so far. And that would have to be The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Absolutely love this book. And if I could give it more stars than five on Goodreads, it would have more stars than that. But five star read. I absolutely love this book. The best sequel. And that has to be Rebel Spring by Morgan Rhodes. This is the first book I ever annotated. If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to link it down in the description. But absolutely love this book. Five star read. Best sequel that I've read this year so far. It's new release that you haven't read yet. I, every single new release that I have acquired this year, which has only been three or four, I have already read them. So I don't have anything for this section. Most anticipated read for the rest of the year and that would be Throwing a Glass, her seventh book by Sarah J Mass. It comes out in October I think. I cannot wait for this book to come out. I will be buying it brand new so probably paying full price for it more than likely but I cannot wait to get it. My biggest disappointment was Ice Like Fire. This is the second book in this trilogy. I did go ahead and unhaul both of those books. I gave them to my local library. They just weren't... The first one was really good. The second just wasn't there for me. And it was like a two, maybe three star read. And I don't want to keep books that I'm not enjoying on my shelves. Biggest surprise. So even though I love everything that Jane Patterson presents... My biggest surprise this year was Gunslinger Girl by Lindsay Ellie. I've already read this book twice. Yes, I am thinking about reading it again by the end of the year. I absolutely love this book. Love, 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 and I can't wait to see what more that she comes up with. My favorite new author to me, not maybe not new author in general, but is Jennifer L. Armentrout. I've never read anything by her, and I absolutely love love this Dark Elements trilogy. I did pick up her Obsidian Deluxe series and I'm flying through them and I absolutely love them. But yes, she is my new favorite author probably this year. Newest favorite character has to be Roth from the Dark Elements trilogy. He is, just without spoiling you guys, he is one of the most like, I don't know, swoon worthy characters that I've seen in a long time. Absolutely loved him and I think everybody should pick up this trilogy and check it out because it is really good. A book that made me cry and I don't know if this is for everybody. I don't cry a lot in books if somebody passes away but I was so invested in this character and without spoiling you guys because I don't want to tell you guys you know what happened but I was so invested with this character and the Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes that I actually cried when something happened to this character. I bawled my freaking eyes out. Like I said, guys, I don't cry a lot in books for some reason. And it might not have been as sad as it actually was. But I was so invested with this person that I, I cried. I had, to, when that something happened, I put it down for like two or three hours before I could pick it back up. Because it was so like emotional to me. But yes, guys, Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. I did cry in this book. Book to film. I have not seen any films that were books this year. I, I don't go to a lot of movies, so I guess none for this category. Most beautiful book that I bought this year has to be The Wicked Deep. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I have not seen it without its dust jacket. Oh my gosh, guys. It's got stars. It has a moon on the front and stars in the whole back of it. Stars. So yeah, most beautiful book that I picked up this year. So last but not least is books that you still need to read by the end of the year. And I'm thinking about going through, this is my TBR shelf. I don't like putting my books on my shelf until I've read them. This is on my TBR shelf. This is the TBR pile right here. I have books all around me that I need to read. I'm thinking about going ahead and making another TBR video just to show you guys what I've unhauled because I've unhauled a lot and show you guys all the books that I've re received recently. So yeah, I think I'm going to do that here soon. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Remember to subscribe, and I look forward to seeing everybody soon in my next video. Bye!